Hi everyone, welcome to this week's real estate update. First I'll talk about options for property on Hilton Head Island and then I'll give you the numbers. If you've been considering purchasing property on beautiful Hilton Head Island, you're probably wondering what type of property makes the most sense for your needs. Today I'm going to break down three popular options. Vacation homes to generate income, condos for rental income, and private residences for exclusive use. Let's dive in. First up, vacation homes. These are single family homes that you can enjoy for yourself while also generating income when you're not there. Hilton Head is a major vacation destination, so short term rentals are always in high demand, especially if you have a property near the beach or golf courses. Investing in a vacation home gives you flexibility. You can block off time for your own stays and rent it out during peak seasons to offset your mortgage or even make a profit. However, it's important to factor in the cost of maintenance, property management and marketing, and a few other things. You also want to consider local regulations on short-term rentals. A well-chosen vacation home can offer the best of both worlds, personal use and a steady income stream. Next, let's talk about condos. If you're looking for a lower maintenance investment property, a condo might be the right fit. Many condo developments on Hilton Head offer amenities like pools, gyms, and easy beach access, making them very attractive to vacationers. Plus, the HOA often handles exterior maintenance, so you won't have to worry about the upkeep. Condos are typically more affordable than single-family vacation homes, and they can still generate great income, especially if they're located in prime spots. The rental market for condos is strong year-round thanks to snowbirds in the winter and vacationers in the summer. Just keep in mind, HOA fees can vary and may cut into your profit, so it's important to understand the full financial picture. Finally, we have private residences. If you're looking to escape to Hilton and enjoy a home just for you and your family, this could be the best option. A private residence gives you complete control, no renting, no strangers using your space, just a peaceful getaway whenever you want. Whether you plan to live here full-time, part-time, or just use it as a personal retreat, Hilton Head has a lot to offer. You can find homes in gated communities, golf course neighborhoods, or quiet inland areas, depending on the lifestyle you're after. With a private residence, you won't have the added complexities of rental management or HOA rules, but you also won't have the rental income to offset costs. This is more about enjoying the island for yourself. So whether you're looking for a vacation home to generate income, a condo with low maintenance, or a private residence for your exclusive use, Hilton Head Island has something for everyone. Now, if you're ready to explore these options or have any questions, I'd love to help you find the perfect property. Feel free to reach out anytime. Okay, that's my take on the vacation home market. Here are the numbers, starting with single family homes. There are currently 1,162 homes active on the market with an average days on market of 104 days. 47 of those are new in the last seven days. 789 are currently under contract. 54 have been sold in the last seven days with an average days of market of those sold of 56 days. Average sold price was $964,033. Not bad. And now the condo market. There are 353 condos active on the market with an average days on market of 120 days. 22 of those are new in the last seven days. 111 are currently under contract. 12 have been sold in the last seven days with an average days on market of those sold at 105 days. The average sold price was $622,925. What do you think? Thanks so much for watching. If you want to work with me, please follow the link in the description. And if you know of anyone who needs help buying or selling, please share this video with them. And of course, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion on what I talked about in the video. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day, have a great weekend, I look forward to seeing you next week.